Okay, Maya, the salmon cards. I, S, R, A, or R. Mm hmm. Oi, S, Chun, Les, A, I, E, mm -hmm. J, R, A. Well, A, U says R uh, in the middle, yep. Un, K, O, and A. Uh. Wait, O, O says U and uh. uh huh. Okay, let's do the first one. Stable, er, k and ch. Wait, k and. Mm hmm. Non, under, o, and, ow. Yep. Yeah. Or, a. Well, o, a says o in the middle. Yep. Lee. Mm hmm. CVC words you double before adding the vowel suffix. Mm hmm. A, aw, <clears throat> o, ow. O U says ow in the middle. Good. Oi, er, yep, e, e, and a. Mm hmm Full, ish. Silent Drop e the e when adding a vowel suffix. Uh-huh. Mid, <clears throat> over, mish, shun, chur, ch, mm -hmm. g, and j, er, ch, chur. Ed the and her plain uh C I A N spells Shun. Yeah, for people. Good. Okay, G or J. J G. Oh that's a C. K or S K. Uh-huh. S K G S G G G J G, k, 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 and j. Excellent. Okay, so let's go back to these. A R says R. Yeah, and A U says A uh, A. No, A U says O in the middle. What says O at the end? Who's its partner? A U and A double. -U. Yeah, good. Okay, how about O A says O. In the middle. Good. Good. O U says ow. And T C H. Ch. Okay, nice. Okay, so let's try your alphabet. All right, so let's do lowercase cursive. Here we go. A, B, C, <clears throat> D. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, <clears throat> M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Nice. Okay, so here we go. The one way to spell R. A R. Good. Okay. There's two ways to spell aw. A U. Mm -hmm. A W. Right, and just make sure when you do U, it goes off the bottom, right? Okay, the four ways to spell O. So, what are you doing? The four what? Ways to spell O. Okay, so what do you have? O, O C E, mm -hmm. O I, and O. Why? Okay, you switched to me on to oi on these guys. So let's just put a line through these guys. What's like o? What says o in the middle? Like boat. O. A. Yeah, good. Okay, o, o a. A says o in the middle. <clears throat> what says o at the end? O w. Right, like the boat is slow. Good thinking. <clears throat> okay, both of the ways you know how to spell ow.
A U. Oh, that's ah. It's close to that, right? These are these are all diphthongs. These are harder. What says Al like? Ouch. Oh. So. Oh, oh. What says Al in the middle? Oh. Double. That's at the oh. end. Okay, so go go ahead and do that one. That one's at the end. Oh, w. Yep. So what's W O O U O U and O W? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Good. A nice fix because otherwise it looks like an, an A. Right. Okay. Both of the ways you know how to spell ch. C H. Mm -hmm. And T C H. Beautiful. Those are great. Okay. All right. Let's go on to your review deck here. All right. So, what do these guys say? Subcompact. Right. And do you remember what the prefix sub means? Sub submarine under. Yes. Perfect. So, a subcompact is a not a big car, but it's. A little. a little bit underneath in size, right? Nicely. Uh huh. Gurney. Gurney. Right. It's U R because the U R words are what? Hurt. Hurt words is right. Good. Lawyer. Mm hmm. Baker. Well, not baker. Bake. Herb. Yeah. So where did the other E go? If bake has an E. And this is in the past, so it's E D. Where'd the other E go? Ah, you. What do you do? You drop the E. Yeah. Vowel suffix. suffix. Good. Sentence. Uh huh. Portable. Yeah. Do you remember what port means? Port. Portable. portable to care. Yeah. Location. Mm hmm. Non dairy. Which means it. <clears throat> it's not dairy. Right. Downtown. Mm hmm. External. Yep. Intermission. Yeah, so why is this S I O N and not T I O N? Because Saturday Night Live. Yes, good thinking. Stewardess. Uh huh. Might. Distracted. Uh huh. Rejection. Beautish. Uh huh. Beautish. Un. What's C I A N? A person. Yeah, and what's this last one? Rejoiceful. Yeah, and full means what? Full of Yeah, rejoice. so full of rejoicing. Yeah, so if I say you're joyful, you're full of joy. Joy, okay. All right, let's try some of our review spelling here. We'll play a game of tic-tac-toe. All right, so these are your personal spelling words. Let's see if we can kill anything today. What do we have here? All right, so the first one is second. S-E-C-O-U. No. Okay. S -O. Just an O, yeah. So S-E-C-O-N. Beautiful. That is going to be good next time. Next one is a peer, which you can kill today. A P P E A R. Right. Word starting with A. What do you know? Usually you double the second letter. Yes. Good. Okay. Next one is duty. It is your duty. D U. T Y. Yeah, Y says what here? I. No. E. Yeah, because it's a two syllable word. Okay. Next one is among. A M O N G. Yeah, here's this O N G. Among. Good, that's dead next time. Next one is um, attend. A T T E N T. And the word is? A ten. Right, and guess what? Two T's, just like two P's. Good, that's dead next time. Okay, next one is waiting. I'm waiting. For you. W A T I N G. Okay, that actually is pretty close. How do you spell A in the middle? Because the root word is wait. So let's. Let's cross this one out and we'll write it right here. How do you spell wait? Like wait one second. W 
A I T. Okay, and now put your suffix ing. I N G. You got it. Okay, not bad. You just got that spelling word last time. Okay, next one is floated. I floated. F L O A T E. And the word is? Floated. Beautiful. And guess what? That goes back to up here with your yellow cards, right? O, A says O in the middle. Good thinking. Okay, next one is canoe. Canoe and shoe are the only two words where this spelling happens. Hmm. So if you know how to, do you know how to spell shoe? S-H-O-E. Okay, now see if you can spell canoe. C A. N mm -hmm. O E. Beautiful. Good job. Last one, Captain. C A P P T A I N. Okay, how come you doubled the P? Because it's after an A. Oh, that's really good thinking. Okay, it's only if the first letter is an A. So that's, okay, that's like an overgeneralization, right? Okay, so it doesn't start with an A, so how would you spell it? C-A-P-T-I-A-N. Well, not I-A, but, because I-A is not a vowel team, right? So A-I. All right, so let's just spell it. Let's just make this an extension here. How would you spell the whole word? C A P T A I N. Absolutely. Okay, what color are you today? I'll be pink. Okay. Um, I'll be yellow. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Attend. Will you attend my party later this evening? Absolutely. Floated. Um, uh, Stuart Little floated down the stream in his canoe. Canoe. <laughs> the canoe almost sank. Okay. Um, appear. Um, the magician made the rabbit magically appear. Duty. It is your royal duty to stand guard no matter what. Uh -huh. <clears throat> um, hmm, I am not going to win this game, am I? Um, how about waiting? I have been waiting for you to come here all afternoon. Second. You might want to have a second thought about where you just went. I know. I know. I was actually thinking, like, I should have gone here. Captain. The captain of the ship is the one in charge. <laughs> among. There are many among us. Ah. And actually, cat's yes. game, right? Okay, let's see if you can get this whole sentence. Last time we were working on long I spellings. So, here's your whole sentence. The tiny light in the sky gave me a fright. The, the tiny light, light in, in the, the sky, sky gave me a fright. The tiny light the tiny light in the sky gave me a fright. The T I N Y tiny L I G H T light I N N T H E the S K S K Y sky G A V E gave me a f r i g h t. All right, let's see what we got. The tiny right open syllable good light i g h says i in the middle in the sky gave me a fright. Period. Right. Do you remember how to do a capital cursive t? Okay, it goes like this. Top hat, oh, body, yeah. or I can't, I think you do yours like this. Top yeah. hat, body, right? Like that. Yeah. 
Right. Okay. All right. So let's just do a. Can you do a capital T right there? Top hat body. You got it. So the tiny light in the sky gave me a fright. Okay. So last time we were working on the four long ways to spell I. So what do you remember about about this um, chart? That the spire and or the I and the I E are the most common. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I G H is the second most common, and mm -hmm. then sky is the least common. Right, and if you spelled something like tiny, like you did here, how come you chose I? When do you use because this? Because it's open. Because it's open. So this is only for open at the end of the first syllable. And then I E and I G H are in the middle. Yep. And Y is at the end. Okay, so if you have to guess between I consonant E and I G H, who's the better guess? Uh, I-E, I, I consonant they're e, right. more often, or common. Yeah, way more common. And here's the other thing, now that you're learning Latin, if you have something like X sight and you hear an I, Latin hates vowel teams, so silent E is where it's all at, right? Okay, so let's do, do you want to do it on the board or do you want to do it on paper? I'll right do it on paper. Okay, all right, so let's do um, four columns here. We've got I, I consonant E, I, G, H, and Y, and then we're going to play a game with these. Okay. All right, so where would you, where would you put I, V, like poison I, V? Where would that go? I, V. Where do you hear the I? At the end. At, at the, the end of the... Uh, of the con well, is it at the end of the first syllable or at the end of the second syllable? First. Right, so which one gets an open syllable at the end of the first syllable? Which one of these spellings? I well, this is in the middle. Remember before a T? Like, yeah, yeah like in tiny. Okay, so Ivy, how would you spell it? I-V-Y. Beautiful. Okay, how about... <clears throat> Tripod. What's the word? Try. Uh, so where do you hear the I? At the beginning. Well, at the middle. Well, try. It's at the end of what? The. Just the, like this one. Yeah, it's at the end of the first what? So. Right. Okay. So this one is I V. You need tripod. T. R Y P O V. Okay, this is what I'd call a really good mistake. You are absolutely right that T R Y spells try when it's a little word by itself, but this is a two syllable word and it's not a pod that tries. Yeah. Okay, so excellent mistake. How would you spell tripod? T R I P O D. Perfect. Okay. Next one is pry. Don't pry into my business. P R Y. Yeah, it's at the end of a little word. Good. P R Y. Good. Okay. Next one is might. I might do it. I might not. I G H. How come? You're right. Because it's in the middle. And it ends with the letter. H. Well, might. T. It ends with a T. Good. Okay, so might. M I G H T. Perfect. Okay, next one is rise. R I Z. Where do you hear the I? In the. In the in what? The okay, so that means it can't be these. Okay, now rise. Yeah, it has to be this because this. Only ends with a what? T. Yeah. So how would you spell rise? R I Z E. Okay. Again, what I would call a fabulous mistake. What says z when it's between two vowels? F. Yeah. Okay. So how would you spell rise? R I S E. You are on a roll. Okay. Next one. My. It's my turn. M-Y. That's easy, right? Because you probably already know how to spell that. But why is it a Y? 
because why is at the end. And yeah, why? Oh, why is it a why? Okay, next one is wise. You're very wise. Okay, one syllable, wise. wise. So we know so. this is out. Okay, w eyes. Yeah, this has to be out, right? And it's not this. How because come? Because it doesn't end in a T. You got it. Okay, so wise. W I Z. Okay, now. Yes. Yes, that was my next question. Okay, perfect. Okay, so W S E. Okay, because S says what? As between two vowels okay how about um nice you're very nice N i uh-huh nice is good okay so it's not two syllables it would be so i e it would be that okay so how would you spell it n n i c e beautiful why'd you pick c because it makes the sound. Okay, so now bonus question. If I if you would have written it like this and I S E, what would it have said? Because what do you know about this? S? Well, this would still say I, but what does S say between nice. two vowels? Yeah, nice. nice. Exactly. Okay. Right. You are right. W R I T. -E. Oh, okay. So. Let's do that. Okay, that's the different kind of right. So that's actually the harder one. So go ahead. W R. W R I T E. Okay, now do like, yep, and crush your T. Do the right like you are using your right hand. That kind R -I -G -H -T. of R I G H T. Exactly. R I G H T. Right, because that's a homonym, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, how about. um. Fright. You gave me a fright. T -H -T. Uh, you got it because of T again. Good. Fright. So R I G H T. Good. Next one is how about <clears throat> my great? My great. How many syllables? My great two. Okay. And where do you hear the I? My. First one. At the end of the first one, so what does it have to be? Yeah, good. Okay, so. M-I-G-R-A-T-E. Lovely. Okay, how about dry? Dry your tears. Dry would be Y. Yes, okay, so. T-R-Y. Lovely. How about um, stripe? st r i p where do you in the, the middle. It is. Okay, so we're so down it to these. must be I-E. You it got it. In the you are right. Stripe. S-T-R-I-P-E. Okay. How about siren? Siren. How many syllables? Two. And where do you hear the I? Siren. In the first one. At the end of the first one, which means... Definitely, I, siren. S I W R E N. Oh, okay. Interesting mistake. Okay, so let's look at this. We need sci, and you're right. W R does say R. That's just like in right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Except this only W R only comes at the beginning of words, like in oh. right. So that's really good thinking. Okay, but if if it's not at the beginning, how are you going to spell siren? S-I-R-E-N. Exactly. S-I-R-E-N. Okay, how about um, hive? I've. Where do you hear the I? I. In the middle. Right, okay, so. It must be. It must be because. I, yep. H. I, V, E. And what do you also know about V? Never the V. Without the E. You got it. All right. Um, let's try sly. You're very sly. Very tricky. S, L, Y. And you chose Y because it's? Because Y is at the end. Of little words, yes. Okay, how about fry? 
also Y. Mm-hmm. F. R. Y. Okay. How about, um, hmm, let's try a different thing. Let's try Bible. Uh, in the first. It, at the end of the first. Okay, so where is it going to go? Here. Okay, so. I. Yep. Uh, B. I. B. L. B L E. Count back three. You got it. All right. Last one. Um, how about drive? D R I V E. Absolutely. D R I V E. It has to be here. Yeah. D R I V E. Yeah, and same deal, right? Never the, the v, v without, without the, the e. e. You got it. All right. I think that this. Is, is probably too easy for you at this point now, right? I think you got it. So I think next time we're going to go on to another Latin root and we're going to come back and do long O Bye. spelling. All right, perfect. So let us play our game here. All right, so you've got two. This is probably even easier because you've got two choices, I-G-H in the middle and Y at the end. Okay, so are you going to be blue or are you going to be yellow or are you going to be black? I'll be black. Okay. You'll be black? Okay, I'll be yellow. All right, let's get him out of there. All right, so I'm going to read to you when it's your turn. Your word is flight. Must be I-G. Wait, yeah. It has to be, right? Because there's a T at the end. Right, and it's in the middle. Okay. Your word is move back two spaces. No, I can't move back any further than I already am. Yours is right, like you are right. I G H. Uh huh. In the middle. Okay. Move ahead three spaces. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In sight. In. I G. I G H in the middle. Good. Okay. <clears throat> Bye. Uh, Y at the end. Try. Y at the end. Mm hmm Trade places. Mm, oh, that's lovely for me. Trade Thank you. <laughs> Sly. Oh, that's bad for me, y. actually, because now you're way up there. Okay. Your word is... <laughs> Move ahead to space. Are you kidding? I keep getting all these. How many? Two? Two spaces. One, two... Okay, blight. I G. Mm hmm. Er, no, you just go right there. Yeah. It's fine. Why? 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 Um, my. Why? Mm hmm. Lime light. Well, that's still in the middle of the syllable, so I G H. Fry. Y. Mm-hmm. Night. I-G-H in the middle. Dry. Y. Ooh. Cry. Y at the end. Bright. Bright. I-G-H. Uh-huh. Fight. Fight is I-G-H in the middle. Oh, wait. Oh. Sorry. Fright. I-G. Uh-huh. Might. I-G-H in the middle. Slight. I-G-H in the middle. Uh-huh. Spry. That's Y at the end. Oh. Um, trade places. Ha, 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 ha. No. <laughs> okay. Cool. Polite. Mm. Po polite. Polite. I can't work. Hold on. What Wait. is it? Polite. What's the? What are the first two letters? P L. Pl oh, plight. Like um, the plight of the people who are homeless. It means like the struggle. That's in the middle, so it's I-G-H. Um, yours is cry. Why? 
Yeah, Y at the end. Good. Okay. The word is sight. I G H in the middle, and I'm never gonna catch up, am I? Mm -hmm. Tight. Yours is tight. Oh. Tight is I G H mm -hmm. in the middle. Fly. That's Y at the end. Dry. Dry would be. Uh huh. At the end, you got it. Okay. Trade places. Wouldn't that be lovely? Go ahead. Next. Ah, I G H in the middle. Light. I G H in the middle. middle. Darn it! One, two, three, four, five, six spaces. I lost by. It was only because of that stinking trade places that I lost <laughs> so miserably. Because I had such a lovely lead, and then you just swiped it <laughs> away from me. Mwa ha ha is right. Okay, so before we go any further, let's do a little bit of our Latin review, and then we are going to do. Um, Hugo Cabaret, and then it's going to be time to go. Okay. All right, so X what? X exit. Out. Yeah, and sub. Sub submarine under. Uh huh. Add. Advance. Ends. I'm coming. Towards. Yes, okay, now let's go on to our roots. Port, portable to carry. Uh huh. Tract, tractor. What do tractors do? They. Pull. Pull things, okay. Eject, eject to throw. Sub. Wait, struct? Sub struct. Structure to build. Okay, and then our suffixes. This means the act of. And this means the. Like, sure, departure, the. The act. Yeah, it's of, the same as shun, right? Shun, the act of. Sure, the act of. Shun, the. Active. Okay, this shun though is, is what a person and ens is what like audience. A noun is a noun. Good. Okay, so let's. Although we're not going to do a new one today, let's see if you can make some words here using a prefix, a root, and a suffix. Mm -hmm. All right, do you want to go first or do you want me to go? You can go first. All right, let's see here. Um, I'm going to say subtraction, the act of pulling under. What's a different word you could make? I could make adjection. Oh, the only thing is, that's not really a real word, but if it was, how come it can't be this shun? What do you need for this shun right here? Uh, right, okay. So let's pretend that this was a real word. It's not. Adjective. We haven't done if yet. But what would this mean if it were a real word? The act of... Jecked, ejected. Ah. Well, jecked, eject to... Throw. Mm. So the act of throwing mm. towards. Right. Okay. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna do. How about this? Can change to just e. Ejection. The act of throwing out. And let's see if you can do one more. Even if it's a, a made up word, what could you do? Mm. Subtraction. Yeah, that actually works really well. What does it mean? The act of tracting. Well, track tractor to pulling under. Yeah, it's just like when you have a number, right? Here's a number. Take something away. It pulls down the number. Yeah. It goes under. Nice. All right. We were in hot pursuit of Hugo Cabaret here. And he was, where was he? Did he get caught? What happened last? Didn't he go to the toy booth? Yeah, n yeah, he went to the, no, he went to the bookstore. And then he went to the bookstore. And he, he got the he got the book. Mm -hmm. Well, the 
the guy, whatever his name is, gave Etienne. him the money to buy the book. So that he didn't have to steal it. Okay. All right. So, the key. That night after all the cooks had been in... All the clocks. All the clocks had been inspected and cleaned. Hugo opened a magic book. He read it from cover to cover. He real he reread his favorite parts, memorizing whole sections, practicing with whatever he could find around his room. But even as he framed Fanned out his cards. Yeah, but he fan fanned out his cards. Uh-huh. He or rolled a coin across the back of his fingers. He found himself thinking about Isabel. Hmm. Hugo finally put the book down. She's she said she would try to help him get his notebook back. Isabel had called him her friend, but how could he be her friend when he had so many secrets he didn't have any secrets to keep when he was friends with Antoine or Antoine or Louis he wished that Isabel would just go away before he got ready for bed Hugo took out the mechanical man and looked through all the little parts he had stolen since he started working at the booth oh right he's stealing from him okay suddenly it was as if a light went on in his head Hugo saw how with just a little work one of the pieces would fit into the man's arm socket. He pulled out his toolkit and cut and, and filed the metal, bending it under it finally, snapping neatly into place. For the first time, Hugo had fixed something on the mechanical man without guidance from the notebook. His heart beat hard. What if he could fix the mechanical man without using the notebook? After all, who knew how long the old man was going to make him work? And what if the girl was still lying and the notebook really was burned? He wasn't sure he could do it, but until the notebook was actually in his hands, he would try. The weeks passed the week passed quickly. Hugo was more tired than ever. He hardly got any sleep because at the end of the day, after taking care of the clocks and working at the booth, he would stay up until dawn working on the automaton. He made much progress and he knew that he was was getting very close to finishing. <clears throat> when the time came to meet Isabel and Antoine at the theater, he didn't want to break his promise. So he made an excuse to the old man, <clears throat> left the station, and ran to the cinema. He snuck back around. He snuck around back where he found Isabel waiting for him. <clears throat> Papa George must have hidden your notebook really well, she said. But I think I might have an idea where it is. Hugo wondered if he should remind her not to look inside it. He decided not to. Why doesn't he want to go to the movies? Why doesn't he want you to go to the movies, Hugo asked. I don't know. Maybe he thinks it's a waste of time. He never said why. <clears throat> I bet my parents would have let me go to the movies. Isabel looked at Hugo if, as if she was hoping he'd ask her a question about her parents, but he didn't, so she kept, she just kept talking. Yeah, because we don't know what happened to her parents, right? Yeah. We just know she lives with Papa George, okay? My parents died when I was a baby, said Isabel, and Papa George and Mama Jenny. Yeah, or Jean, I think. Jean are my godparents, so they kept took me in and raised me. They were very nice, except when it comes to the movies. That's weird. <clears throat> Hugo said nothing in response. So finally, Isabel asked, I wonder where and, and twin Etienne. Etienne is. <clears throat> he, he usually opens the doors for me by now. Hmm. Hugo cautiously slipped around the front of the theater and looked for Etienne. The manager of the theater, whose thin black hair was slicked across the top of his head, opened the door and said to Hugo, What do you want? The cigarette that 
dangled from his lips, moved up and down as he spoke. I'm, um, looking for Etienne? The man stared at him. He has an eye patch, said Hugo. I know who Etienne is, said the man as he smoothed his hair across his head and flicked his ashes toward Hugo. I just fired him. We discovered that he was sneaking children into the theater. Isn't that a terrible thing to do? He glared at Hugo. Hugo backed away from the door, ran behind the theater, and told Isabel what had happened. What an awful man! Follow me, Isabel said. She walked to the rear door and took out a bobby pin from her pocket. Hugo watched as she fiddled with the pin inside the lock until it clicked and the door opened. Hmm. How did you learn to do that? She uh, asked Hugo. Books, answered Abella, Isabella. Isabella poked her head inside, <clears throat> inside to make sure no one was watching. She held the door open. For, well, then held. The then door. held the door open for Hugo. Mm -hmm. They entered the back of the lobby where photos from upcoming films were tracked were tacked to a display case. Il Isabel stopped for a moment and looked at one of the pictures in black and white photograph of an actress with very dark eyes. Sometimes I think it is what I like these photos as much as I like the movies, she said. You can make up your own story when you look at a photo. Hugo looked at the picture, but when Isabel said, quick, the manager's coming, she and Hugo oh, hurried from the lobby into the theater, sank down into the soft red velvet seats in the back row. And waiting for the movies to start. I'm not sure I'd sit in the back row, because if he comes in, it would be really easy. I would just hide in with a bunch of other people. Or go in the bathroom or something, right? Okay, here's the curtain. Hmm. The stage. Uh, the light. The blinding light. It is a blinding light. Look at him, he's like... The black white, the blank white screen re reminded Hugo of a brand new piece of paper, and he loved the wonderful whirling sound from the projector that filled the theater. First came the newsreels, each one a few minutes long, about current events around the world, which is what they used to do in movies. Mm -hmm. There was one about the Depression in America, one about a World's Fair that would be opening in Paris in a few months. Hugo thought that sounded exciting although he knew he'd never be able to go, and one about politics in Germany. And then, finally, a cartoon began. It was called The Clock Store. In it, an old man was lighting street lamps as night fell, and he passed a clock store. In inside, all the clocks were alive, and they were dancing to classical music. Hugo knew his father would have loved it. In the end, the music grew wilder as two alarm clocks had a fight. The curtain clo curtains closed, everyone applauded, and the projectionist changed the reels. After a few moments, the curtains opened again, and the main feature, The Million, by a director named René Claire, began. It was about an artist, a lost lottery ticket, a criminal, a borrowed coat, and an opera singer. And it had one of the most amazing chase sequences that Hugo had ever seen. He thought... Every good story should end with a big, exciting chase. Time passed quickly in the darkness, and as the lights came up, Hugo didn't want the afternoon to end. He and Isabel looked at each other, their eyes still shining from the flickering images. Everyone filled out, Everyone fi filed out of the theater until the children were alone in their seats in the back of the room. Hugo stared at the screen as if he were still seeing the projection lights. The project. projected lights. Mm -hmm. He still hearing the sound. Suddenly, Hugo and Isabel were grabbing their collar, were gra grabbed by their collars and hoisted to their feet. <laughs> How did you two rats get in here? The manager barked. Sin Cig cigarette ashes fell on their heads. Ew. 
The children managed to take their coats and and were dumped outside on the wet sidewalk in front of the theater. And I better not see you here again. The manager closed the glass doors, wiped his hands, and grabbed and glared at them until they ran away, brush, brushing ash from their hair. Once they were out of sight of the theater, they slowly to a walk. They slowed to a walk. Mm-hmm. The air was cold, and they shivered. Isabel told Hugo about their the other movies she loved: comedies and cartoons and cowboy movies starring someone named Tom Mix. <clears throat> there was an actress she'd seen named. Louise Brooks, who had a haircut that Isabel had copied. (laughs) There are adventure stories and mysteries and love stories and fantasies. And she had named... She said names. She said names like... Charlie Chaplin, Jean Renner, and Buster Keaton. Hugo had seen a few... Buster Keaton, Keaton movies and two Charlie Chaplin movies. But yeah, Charlie Ch- Chaplin movies. But for some reason, he didn't share with his this with Isabel. He just listened. All right, excellent work.